there are a lot of project management tools out there. And you may be wondering which one is the best for your business. Hi, I'm Shirley. And today, one of the tools that we will be comparing is ClickUp and Monday.com. At the end of this video, you'll know which ones benefit you the most and which features stand out for you. Because at the end of the day, it's always your choice. So I'll be sure to walk you through the pros and cons to help you make an informed decision. The first point of comparison would be its UI design. And with Monday.com, it has a bit more cleaner interface. It feels smooth and very intuitive and it's easy to use or more straightforward to use compared to ClickUp. So I know exactly where to go if I want to search for a certain space or a folder. And with ClickUp, it's a bit more colorful or there's a lot of things that you can do. I'm on the simple project management view. And here, if the spaces are not hidden, then everything will be opened up on the side. And there are a lot of things if you expand them. And there are more, it can feel a bit overwhelming. It may take a while to customize the platform to your advantage. Now, the second point of comparison would be on views. Let's go with monday.com first. So, with views, you just have here the calendar view, timeline, Kanban view, and of course, the main table view. So in monday.com, the list view is actually called table view. So with ClickUp though, you just don't have this list view or board view or calendar view, but you also have things like Gaunt view, timeline, table. We have mind map, workload, and you can also embed pages or apps here in ClickUp as a view. And so they're separate and they don't have to be embedded as well. And so with monday.com, you're just limited to these three or four kinds of views where you can see them easily. And it's pretty much simple to look at as well. And with ClickUp, if you have a lot of views here on your horizontal bar, it can get cluttered pretty quickly if you have everything enabled. So I would advise not to actually have all the views required when you set up a space. And the third comparison is how much value you actually get on the free plan. So with ClickUp's free plan, you already get a super generous premium plan that allows for unlimited users. You get storage of 100 megabyte, where and if you go to monday.com's pricing, you don't really get any storage on the free plan, but you do get a five gigabytes of storage on the $8 plan. So with monday.com, it's only free for up to two team members. While in ClickUp, you can have as much free members as you would like. And so with ClickUp's lowest plan, the $5 unlimited plan, you can already have your unlimited storage, unlimited integrations, unlimited dashboards, which is a very competitive offer in the project management app market. Now with Monday.com's lowest plan, the $8 basic plan, Plan. So you can see here, let's pull up complete features list. So you still have a limit of five gigabytes for the storage, one week worth of activity log, and as for the features that we're looking for in the ClickUp $5 plan, it's still not yet available. So no integrations or automations yet included in that. You only get the Kanban view, and that's pretty much it. So if you're not getting a lot of premium features on the free or on the basic $8 plan. So now let's go to dashboards. So with monday.com, it's pretty straightforward if you want to add a dashboard. So you simply just go ahead and add a dashboard in here. Let's see, let's add a dashboard here. And so once you have a dashboard, you just simply add a widget and select chart and it will already generate data for you. Like if you want this one. So it's pretty much easy to create your dashboard, but not much area for customization. And so it's getting all the data just for this list. Now with ClickUp, it is very more advanced 
but you have more freedom in the dashboard that you would like to create. So you can go ahead and start from scratch and then you're given a list of widgets to, to choose or select. And then once you have chosen a widget, you would need to select which location you're going to pull it from. So you can even select all if you want to pull from all locations, you can select how you want to group it or which status you want to show if you want to include closed tasks. So there are a lot of customizations when it comes to creating a dashboard with ClickUp. So next, let's go to forms. So with Monday.com, there is a ability to create a new form. And so let's say once you have created the form though, you'll be able to view them here in the form response viewer. So you would need to switch to the next one, to the next response here. You can see it in a visual way, like a PDF, and then you can download it as a PDF. And then you can also see it in a task view, and then you can um, open it up to see what was the answer or the response in the form. So the responses in the form got added on here as a um, status. So you can go ahead and rename this from status instead to what what is actually being now with ClickUp, you can also go ahead and create a form. So let's go ahead and just try to add some fields in here. So the only difference is that it's also pretty easy to add questions and to create your form in ClickUp. But in here again, you have a lot more options as to which list do you want to save your task or the responses as a result in the form, or if you want to always assign the responses to a specific person or team, or if you want to use a template to actually create a task. So there are also a lot of customization that you can do, especially if you're on the business plan, you can just put your own branding and do other things to customize your form. Right now, yep, it's pretty much straightforward whatever things you have here in your custom fields you can add them into your form as a question so both monday and clickup.com gets a point for that because they're both easy to make and they also automatically create new tags once a response is submitted next let's go to integrations and automations so with monday.com with its standard plan, you can see here, its standard plan, which is for $10 a month, it already includes integration. And it doesn't include integration or automations on the basic or free plan, but you only get 250 actions per month on the integrations on the standard plan. Its pro plan though, $16 per month, you'll be able to get up to 25,000 actions per month for integrations and automations as well. But going into ClickUp, it already has unlimited integrations and automations just on the $5 plan. Well, of course, the only limit with automations here with ClickUp is that you can't have the advanced automations where you can have or add conditions in it. But basically, you, you do get basic automations even on the $5 plan. ClickUp also offers more than 50 native integrations. And that's a lot. So other added features that you can get with ClickUp is that you also get chat, you get video recording and email. So in comparison, monday.com does not offer these features, no video recording or communication or chat, whereas ClickUp has those features already. And so all of ClickUp's paid plan here from the lowest plan to the business plus, they already allow for unlimited storage. Whereas Monday.com puts a cap on all the file storage from the lowest 
to the highest plan. And so those would be the main differences with regard to their features, as well as Monday.com does not have portfolios or relationships. So with ClickUp, you can go ahead and create relationships, relationship dependencies to other tasks. So they are linked together and you can associate them with other lists. But with Monday.com, that is still in the works, as well as adding a portfolio in Dashboard. So going to Dashboard, let's see. There you go. So with ClickUp, you can see an overview of the progress of different projects or, or lists here as a portfolio widget. But with Monday.com here, you won't be able to pull up a portfolio widget in dashboards because as you can see, you can only add a dashboard to a specific list. So you're not able to really get an overview of the whole project. Another feature or another point of comparison is privacy. So with Monday.com, if you want to keep certain boards and spaces private, you would need to go to the pro plan. So right now, all the boards or lists are currently public. And then I would need to move up to the paid plan if I want to protect the privacy of that. Now with ClickUp, members and admins can share spaces or folders with members or guests, even on the free plan. So here you can see that I can share it here with other people. I can invite guests here on any of my lists and even on public or private spaces. But with Monday.com, you would need to make sure that you are at least on the $16 pro plan. And so I guess it really just boils down to pricing. If you have budget, then I would suggest that you can go with monday.com. Basically, it's the easier platform to use if you have a big team and you need ready templates. Because if you want to add or go ahead and start using the platform, you just had to go ahead and click on add here and choose from the ready-made templates. So let's say that I want to just choose this basic CRM template. And if I use this template, it's going to be ready to use in like a few minutes. And my team can already go ahead and start using it. So as you can see, it's already pretty easy to use template. I can see all the stages, assign it to someone and see this basic information that I need to start the CRM. But with ClickUp, well, you do have templates, but there's a slight learning curve when it comes to using it. So you'd have to pretty much customize it according to how you're going to use it. But basically, if you're just looking at the pricing, it's pretty competitive. So again, with Monday.com, it's pretty much the same tier of pricing from eight to sixteen dollars compared to clickup's lowest plan from five dollars to nineteen dollars but the value of the free plan in clickup you can already get so much features from the free plan and even on the five dollar one you already get so much integrations and automation so for me personally, I don't really need a business plan unless I need like advanced automations or more personalized like email signatures or email templates. And for most users, they can already make do with a $5 unlimited plan. And so to wrap it up, then I would actually recommend ClickUp if you're a small team and you're just a startup, you're just starting out and you're on a budget, ClickUp would be great for you because you'll be able to use a lot of its features that is best suited for small businesses and solopreneurs. But if you are a large established team and you're raring to go and want to get up and running right away, I would suggest Monday.com for its easy to use UI design and its ready-made templates and it's pretty much touch and go from there. And so I hope that helped you on making your decision 
whether you want to go with ClickUp or Monday.com. And we'll still be comparing more tools in the next few videos.